Welcome back to another studio vlog. Summer is almost coming to an end. We have less than a month left. And then we are on our way to fall and winter and Christmas. And there are just tons of things that have to get done before then. This week is super jam-packed. I am full out preparing for Christmas, updating my wholesale catalog. And the biggest thing about this week is that I am going back to school. Not really, but kind of back to school. I enrolled for a course called Paper Camp. I actually have haven't heard about it until this year when another friend on Instagram mentioned it to me and she highly recommended it. It's quite a big investment but long story short I thought I would apply you know sometime next year when I can afford the course however I applied for their scholarship didn't get their full scholarship but I ended up getting a partial scholarship and that was enough for me to realize now is the time to take this course I have way too many questions I can't keep googling everything it starts today it's a four-week course and so I'm I'm just so excited to start learning, to connect with people, level up my business. This is exactly what I needed. I'm also going to be preparing my Christmas ornaments. This week we're gonna try to source some ribbon, get the packaging going, and beyond that, anything goes. So I got this new stand. It's a phone stand and hopefully this will help me film reels and top-down shots a bit better. You can put your phone here and everything's adjustable. I packed a bunch of orders. I haven't had this many orders all throughout summer but I did a little sale last week on bookmarks and so that got me going. These are flowers from Irene's Bridal Shower if you remember two weeks ago. I think it's time that these get tossed away so can welcome this little guy to the studio it is a propagation of our pothos outside i'm gonna be taking care of this little guy from now on to go. I'm gonna drop these off to my mailman. They're ready for you. Okay. Just had a super productive morning. I just posted. Talked a little bit about prayer. I write all my captions on the go so I never write my captions beforehand. For me, I just found that pre-planning my content is really hard. Like, I can't bring myself to write a caption that I'm gonna post three days later. They are my organic, real thoughts. Like, what am I thinking about this Monday morning? And the post that I just did was about prayer, and I literally listened to the sermon yesterday about prayer, and it made me think about it, and so I just wrote what I thought. But anyway, the reason I'm talking about Instagram is because in the past few days or the last week, one of my reels went viral. Like I wouldn't say viral, okay. I shouldn't say viral because these days viral on the internet is like millions of views. Mine hit about 50,000 views and every day it's been climbing and I've been getting more and more followers through that reel. I, I don't know why, I just feel like I need to steward my Instagram a bit better now. I want to have more of like a content strategy. <laughs> And I just want to make better content, which is why I got that overhead 
phone stand. I think with that I can create a lot more reels and top-down process videos. So that's the plan. We'll see where it goes. Lunch, we have leftover chicken breast with some veggies. I chopped up some carrots, zucchini, mushrooms. This is yours, a little bowl. Cool. It's 3.11. And I'm just about to get started on packaging these ornaments. So I want to create six unique backing boards. Well, they might not be unique. They might just have like a unique skew, but they might have the same design. I don't know, but I'm thinking like a darker color thing that makes it look really visible. And I want this to be used for my consumers, but also my retailers as well. So, so I want to share a little bit about my process of designing this. So um, the first thing I did was pick a piece of ribbon that I had lying around. I will likely go and shop for some sort of velvet ribbon so that it looks a bit more luxe and festive, but um, I figured out how I wanted to tie my ornaments. And then after that, I used a piece of cardstock and played around with two slit length options and that way I can slip in my ribbon through the slit and I may or may not have to tape the ribbon down at the back to hold it up but I went with the shorter slit at the top and then I wanted to use the bottom here to write my information and so I came up with the 4x6 dimension because I already have 4x6 plastic sleeves and those are what I use to pack up my wholesale stickers and so I thought it would just be good to keep things as consistent as possible so I'm not having to order like a million different sizes and keep track of the inventory for that. Once I decided I was gonna go with this kind of layout I designed something on InDesign, it would kind of uh, work with this layout. So it's gonna look something like this with the ornament on top, like so. And this is what it looks like on the screen. I took an image from Unsplash, which is like kind of like stock photos. And then I added a colored gradient down here just to help make the words more visible at the bottom. So rather than have it like that, there's like some pink. And then I zoomed out on the image so the image is actually like much bigger. But then I zoomed in so that the ornament could sit on like the darkest spot of the photo. And I think this will work well with every single ornament and I'm gonna update each card to have the specific title. I have just been having the most productive day. I just finished up a personal project. Uh, my friend is having her baby's birthday party this weekend and so uh, she wanted her baby's name laser cut in wood and this is super last minute but I told her I could help her out and so I wrote the name in calligraphy on Procreate and then I brought it into Illustrator, vectorized it and I quickly sent it over to my printer to see if they could quote me for it. I don't know if the turnaround is too tight for them, but they have never disappointed me. So we'll see how that goes. It's really fun taking on these personal projects because it allows me to work with new materials, try something that I haven't done before or that I don't get to do every day. It's the end of the workday and I will see you at the climbing gym later. Good morning guys, happy Tuesday. It is not even eight o'clock yet and I am on my way to my printers, I have allotted a lot of time for rush hour traffic and they're not close. I'm choosing to go to a new printer after the last fiasco I had a few vlogs ago. I'm willing to drive out further if it means I can work with a really good manufacturing partner. And so far, I am just so impressed with these guys. Yeah, I think I found the one, but we'll see how it goes today. I'm gonna be heading into their office to look at, not proofs, but they're actually putting my cards to press today. So they are actually printing them and I'm just gonna have a look at them. My sister is going to be heading with me for this little trip and so we'll see how all things pan out here. Okay. Ooh, thank you. I'll put mine here. Fetish finish wrap. Fetish finish. <laughs> we have lunch plans downtown after, so I thought we'd just, you know, make it a big day together.
meeting went insanely well. It took less than an hour. As you saw, I took some video clips of the press. They were so amazing to work with. I think this is gonna be a long-term partner for me. I'm like so excited. I think finding a good printer slash manufacturer slash partner has been like the hardest part of this small business journey, let's be honest. So I feel so excited for my Christmas cards. And now we are at Fabricland. It is still Tuesday, uh, 4 15 p.m. I am just leaving my parents. I had an outfit change at my parents. I'm headed to my other printers, the one closer to my place, uh, to pick up the backing cards that I finished yesterday. Their turnaround is amazing and I love that. They're so close to me. Yeah, I'm gonna spend the evening working. I'm also going to be finishing up the coursework that I started yesterday. Paper Camp Week 1 lectures were released yesterday and so I spent yesterday evening looking through the videos, I took a lot of notes, wrote down all my questions and as, as it's percolating in my head I actually have so many more questions to ask so I'm gonna write them all down, probably look through the Facebook group today to ask um, the questions in advance. Tomorrow is my first live call so I am stoked. I'm excited to meet everybody else in my cohort. Generally excited to get answers to my questions. Okay, I'm back home and I wanted to show you what I picked up from Fabricland. I ended up getting this thin white ribbon just to test out. And I just thought white ribbon would always be useful. Then I got a meter of gold and a meter of the red just to test it out again. And then I got this green velvet ribbon and this is what I really want to use. I just don't know if I can afford to buy so much of this, but I'm gonna check out another location and see if they have some of the other colors in stock. This is what I'm gonna try to experiment with. And then the backing cards. These are the backing cards that I finished last night. I did show you. Um, you can't tell on the camera, I don't think, but it is dark green, like you can see the Christmas tree design. And then the, the ornament would go right over there with the slit here for the ribbon. And if the ribbon is gold or if it's green or red, I think it would look really good. I do think the white would look nice too, especially because a lot of people have like the minimal looking trees. So white might be a good option, but I think this looks fantastic. Guys, I just edited and published my first travel vlog on YouTube. It is all about Tobermory and it's in a playlist called Out of Office. I thought that was super cute. I'm just gonna feature like little trips and things I do as part of my YouTube video. And so there it is, it is live. The best part about this thumbnail is that this is my sister in the middle. morning everyone happy Wednesday I just went out for my first run um, in months and the reason I did so was because I had lunch with Denise yesterday and she actually ran 300 kilometers in the month of August so if you calculate this for 30 days straight she ran 10 kilometers a day and Denise was my roommate from undergrad and she was Definitely, definitely not a runner. And so yesterday I was super motivated by her. She encouraged me to get up in the morning and run, and so I did it. I ran a lot less than her, but it's a start. And it, it was actually the first like cool day of the season. At lunchtime today, I have a live call with all the other students and the instructor, and she's gonna be doing like an interview slash lecture, and we can do a live Q&A after, and I'm so excited. This course has been amazing so far like it's been just affirming me in all the right ways and kind of guiding me along i just needed someone to give me some clarity let me know that you know this is okay or this is not okay i think christmas is going to be a little hectic if i'm going to try to implement everything i'm learning but i mean it's the best time to do it <laughs> It 
it is almost time for my paper camp call. I actually put on a lot of makeup this morning, a bit more than usual, because I wanted to look good on our video chat. Um, haven't met new people in so long. I did wrap a bunch of my ornaments last night. This is what they're looking like so far. It just looks so cute. And I have the ribbon tied and taped at the back. assistant went to the bakery to restock our inventory. I forgot to film it, but uh, we hadn't been there in a, in a month and a half. And so we did counting, we restocked, left some new carts there, and they're selling well. Good morning everyone, happy Thursday. Today we're gonna get a lot of packing and fulfillment done. I'm bringing my sister over and we're gonna be just preparing things for Christmas, the ornaments, I gotta pack a bunch of tote bags. And yeah, it's just gonna be, there's probably gonna be a lot of time lapses today. I'm moving these over to my parents and, oh gosh, I don't even know. I have no excuse for this. I measured out my ribbon and I need about 10 to 11 inches. So I cut this piece of cardboard to be 10 and a half inches and I'm just wrapping my ribbon around until the roll is done and then I'm just gonna snip the ends and they should all be 10 to 11 inches. These are the red ribbons that I picked up yesterday they are much thinner and I think I am really liking the thinner thinner one so I'm gonna try to finish using up the big roll of white ribbon that I bought yesterday and then I'm gonna transfer them all over to a thinner size I think the benefit of keeping it white is just keeping it as neutral as possible I know some people just have like all white trees whereas you know if you have a colorful tree a white ribbon isn't gonna really ruin your tree aesthetic that much um, but again, I don't think it's that big of a deal, like, actually, I don't know. Happy Friday. Today is the last day of this week's studio vlog. Last night, Alex and I actually went over to my parents and we spent three hours cleaning out the basement, moving all the furniture we needed to move so that I could set up my office basement in their space. It's gonna be more of like a fulfillment center. So I'm still gonna be creating artwork here and probably most of my administrative tasks here at home, but I'm gonna be moving all my inventory to my parents and all my packing supplies. I am super excited for that. Cheers to the end of another successful week. Space is very valuable to me right now. I have probably four drawers like this with like chipboards, foam boards, different types of watercolor paper. But like when I'm actually doing a piece, I can't reach in here and grab anything usable because they're all, they're literally all scrapped. I don't know what to do with it. I, I couldn't even tell you what kind of paper this is because I've used so many different types of paper in the past. I think I'm gonna just have to recycle all of this, which sucks. Sad face. Thank you. 